In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to nudge objects in Canva. Canva is a fantastic tool for creating unique and visually appealing designs, uh, whether you're working on a personal project or something more professional. Sometimes getting the positioning of your elements just right makes all the difference. That's where the technique of nudging comes into play. Nudging allows you to make small, precise adjustments to the elements in your design to ensure everything aligns perfectly and looks professional. To start, you'll want to have your Canva design open. Once you've got that in front of you, the first step is to click on the element you wish to adjust. This is essential because you need to select the specific object before moving it. It could be anything from an image, a text box, or any other design element you're currently working with in your Canva project. Click on it so that it is highlighted or selected. This process ensures your next actions affect only this specific element and not the entire design. Now with your element selected, the next step involves using your key keyboard. To move or nudge your element, simply use the arrow keys on your keyboard. This might seem almost too simple, but it's an incredibly effective method for making small adjustments to the positioning of your elements. The great thing about using the arrow keys is that each press moves the object by just a tiny fraction, giving you the precision needed to perfect your layout without the hassle of trying to drag with your mouse. A tip to keep in mind, if you need to make larger movements with your object, you can hold down the shift key while using the arrow keys. This combination allows for broader positioning adjustments and can save you time if your starting point requires more significant changes. However, for fine tuning, sticking with just the arrow keys is usually best. Using these simple steps, you can ensure your designs in Canva have the perfect balance, alignment and polish that you see in professional work. One of the joys of using Canva is how intuitive and user-friendly it can be, and learning how to nudge elements is a great example of the platform's simplicity and power. I hope you find these steps helpful as you continue to explore and create with Canva. Remember, perfection is often in the details, and sometimes just a small tweak here or there can make all the difference in the final outcome of your design. Thanks for watching and happy designing!